What's up, JT? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Trinity. All you gotta do is click subscribe to join the family. So, I'm back. Tonight, I will be baking with the Easy Bake Oven. If you haven't seen part one, that's in the corner somewhere or down below. When I first bought this, I mean, it turned out better than I expected, but it was <laughs> just rolled a clip. I decided to bring this baby out again, okay? I'm super excited because now I have other things to bake. If you would like to know where I got mine, the link is below. I do have an Amazon storefront and the link takes you directly to the one I purchased because there's plenty of them out there. Uh, this is the one that I'm familiar with. So you just want to make sure to purchase the ones that work, that have a really good review. Here she is. Here she is, she's back, she's back. Oh man, let's go ahead and plug this baby up. I'm so excited for this. When you plug this up, you are gonna need to wait at least I think like 15 minutes. Did I throw away the directions? Okay, all right, so it's on, the light is on, it's good to go. Okay, so while this is um getting hot, let's go ahead and get our ingredients. I have my pans. I added to the collection, y'all. I bought some things. Some more circle pans. That way it doesn't take us long to make these, okay? It was very long last time because we had to wait for one to bake to move on. When you purchase the Easy Bake Oven, most of the time it comes already with some recipes. So it makes it really easy so you don't have to use like adult things. This is for kids. So they're prepackaged. Comes like this. Like what? This time I'm going to be making pretzels. Yes. Now, it look good, but do it taste good? We about to find out. By the way, my merch is on sale. Link is below. Go ahead and buy it, take it. I don't want it anymore. Have my bowls out. This is to make it easier. They do not give you bowls or spoons. Some do. If you get a kit, also you're gonna get directions. We love that because this is for kids and this is a great way for kids to learn how to follow directions and understand that you cannot skip steps in life, okay? Shortcuts, not always a good thing. <laughs> I would know. First step, preheat easy bake oven for 20 minutes. Okay, cool. Alexa, set timer for, I guess at this point, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay. By the way, you have two new notifications. Do you want to hear them? Amazon Music for Prime has improved. You can now listen to the songs of any artist you want. Alexa. Okay, thank you. You're so welcome. Your kindness really gives me a charge. Hope you had a good weekend. That was so sweet. I wasn't expecting that. And here I was getting an attitude. I'm sorry. Spray bacon pan with cooking spray. Okay, so what pan are we dealing with here? I guess we're dealing with this this pan right here. We're dealing with this pan. So I have some spray, it doesn't come with spray, but we're gonna spray our pan. And we do need to go ahead and set that aside and get our mixture together. So by the time the oven preheats, we can go ahead and pop them in. Make the glaze, pour one egg wash mix and two tablespoons of water into a bowl. Stir the mixture with a spoon and set aside for later. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember there's nothing but water and powder with this, that's it. The egg wash is in powder form, honey. With the Easy Bake Oven, it is very important for you to just have a bowl of water on the side because that's all you're really gonna need with this mix, with these bags. We need the egg wash. So this is the egg wash. That is salt. That is the pretzel mix. That's pretzel mix. Pretzel mix. Nacho cheese, whoo! Nacho cheese now, y'all doing a lot. Y'all doing a lot. Nacho cheese, how is it really gonna taste? Okay, two tablespoons. Here we go. You know what, this is not the right spoon. Not necessarily, but it's okay. It's okay. Then mix in the egg wash. 
and we mix it. I remember making egg wash in the last one. Set it to the side for later. Make the pretzel dough. Ooh, this is the fun part. We have our pretzel mix. Partner. Man, these have so much potential. But is it really gonna taste good? We're just gonna go ahead and put the pretzel mix. <coughs> and four teaspoons of water into a bowl. Okay, one, two, three, four. Stir and press the mixture together until you form the dough. Okay, why does it look blue? Some places look a little blue now. I'm gonna add a little bit more water because this isn't, it's not giving dough. Am I supposed to put two bags? No, it's one. That was a little interesting. Oh boy. It's not really giving the measurements I'm thinking. Like at this point, I'm adding in more than what it's saying, unless I really just should have got a real like teaspoon. Now I'm going to grab it with my hand and try to get this thing doing what it need to do. Wow, it's working, okay. All right, the dough is formed. Use your hands to shape the dough into a ball. Sprinkle flour on your hands if the dough is too sticky. I actually think it is definitely too sticky. I'm guessing they want me to use my own flour, so let me grab some flour. All right, so have some flour here, do a little sprinkle. That's way better, it's not as sticky. Well, it did just become sticky again. Okay, so I'm gonna need more flour. I mean, I thought I put enough flour, I guess not. I'm not trying to, ooh, I ain't trying to put so much flour. I ain't trying to do all that. Choose what kind of pretzel you want to make. Twist, nuggets, or sticks? Hmm, y'all know which one I'm going for. The hardest one. Alexa, off, thank you. You're so welcome. Your kindness really gives me a charge. Alexa being real nice today. It is time to shape the balls. So I'm gonna take a piece and I'm gonna roll it out. Oh goodness. Let me move this out the way. Roll it out like this. I'm not even sure how to make the twist design because it doesn't actually say it in the directions. So y'all just leaving kids out here on their own, huh? Y'all ain't gonna tell them how to do it? Cause there's definitely not a step by step. Put the ball of dough into eight equal pieces. Roll the piece of dough into ropes. Twist each rope into a pencil shape as shown. Twist each rope into a pencil shape. How are they supposed to know? Like this? Oh, wow, I did it. It looks a little crusty though. It look a little hurt, but we gonna go for it. Maybe I should have stuck with the sticks <laughs> or the nuggets. Okay, let's try this again. You twist it and then you cross it. This is not how it's supposed to be. Are y'all really being realistic? Cause you know in part one, we found out the hard way that it ain't gonna look like the picture. Make sure to tell your kids, hey, it's not gonna look like that picture. Don't get yourself too upset about this. Got kids out here throwing tantrums cause they can't do a pretzel twist. I know some of y'all gonna get because I'm pretty sure I have said at least like pretzel wrong at least once. Man, you know what? I'm about to make my own design. I ain't about to play around. I'm a full grown adult and y'all got me in my feelings about this. Y'all got me questioning if I can do something. Shoot. This is about to look a hot mess. I can't believe you, Easy Bake. Maybe it's for the people with the small hands, the kids. Okay. This is what I was able to come up with, my own little design. It's giving squid, okay? It's giving squid shape. But that's okay, that's okay. And the good thing is the oven is already preheated so we can pop these babies in. Let's see for how long 
use pastry, but oh, we gotta um, put the um, the egg wash on top. Let me see. Use pastry brush or your finger to spread some glaze on top of the dough. Sprinkle the glaze dough with uh, salt. Oh, okay, we not done yet. Some glaze on there. Glaze on there. Give it some color. For all this, you're not even gonna use all of it. Some salt right here. I'm gonna put it in my hand like this. Cause I do not like a salty person, so okay. This is giving tiny food. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. Okay. Throw it over my shoulder for good luck. I heard that works, hopefully. Who invented that? I think it was Emerald. Y'all remember Emerald? The people that watch the Food Network. Y'all know the OG Emerald, come on. Bam, 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 bam. Classic. Bake for 15 minutes. Time to put it in. Gonna put it in like this. Hold on. See, you gotta be careful because if your dough a little too thick, it might get caught. How do I do this? Oh yeah, okay, I do it like, wait, no, no, no. You push it in. You push it in until that little flap closes. See, listen closely, you'll hear it. You hear that? That sound right there? That's how you know. And at first I thought that it slid down like a belt or something. No, it doesn't. It just sits there and you're just gonna be pushing it over to the other side. And as always, make sure you clean as you go. Let's make the cheese sauce. We might as well go ahead and have that done. This is a lot of cheese sauce. It's just a lot for a little, you know? Da -da -da -da. Cheese sauce. It's definitely giving, um, what is it, Kraft's mac and cheese? Make the cheese dip. Pour one nacho cheese mix, which we did. Well, I did. Well, y'all doing this with me. We're, we're, we're a team here. Two tablespoons of water into a bowl and stir until smooth. Okay, let's go. One, two. And now, let's mix. Until smooth. Ooh. I don't know about this. Now it is getting smooth. Okay. Okay. Well, shut my mouth. It is giving cheese dip. And it is actually pretty smooth. Look at that. Still waiting for the pretzels to get done. Maybe we should prepare our next one. So we can kind of just rotate these out. Because we trying to get it in and get it out and in our mouths, okay? So chocolate chip, that's what got my attention. It, it might hit, <laughs> it might, it might. Preheat the Easy Bake Oven for 20 minutes. It is already preheated. Spray baking pan, that's always, that's law at this point. Got another pan here, sprayed off to the side. Pour one chocolate chip cookie mix and one teaspoon of water into a bowl. Stir and press the mixture together to form a dough. Okay, we saw that coming. So, let's see. Pink sugar cookie mix, chocolate chip cookie mix, that's what we need. There's definitely chocolate chips in here, as it should be, right? Let's pour that in. Mmm, it smells good. Something has to taste good out of all of these, or you know what? In part three, your girl just gonna make it with regular old ingredients, okay? Shoot. I don't think that's enough. Am 
am I reading that right or am I tripping? There's just no way. I feel like it's ta it's one tablespoon at least, but one teaspoon? I don't know about that. Okay, so if you happen to use too much water, just throw some flour in there. Just throw some flour in there, okay? 12 small balls, okay? Let's put some flour on the hands. Cause this, I just feel like it's about to get sticky. It's about to get more messy than I thought. Maybe, maybe they were right. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it did only need a teaspoon. Learn from your mistakes, kids. Do better. Be better than me, okay? Be better than me. Oh my goodness. It's starting to get messy in the kitchen. This is the clownery. This is where you get your chuckles in. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just not it, y'all. Come close. Come closer. Look at these. Y'all, this is not it. All right, so. Here we have our chocolate chip cookies with a sprinkle of flour on top. All right, so it has been 15 minutes. It's time to take these out. Also because we gotta put the chocolate chip cookies in. So what you're gonna do, hmm, wait. You push it through. Try not to push it, I don't know. Is it all the way through? And now you're gonna grab it. Ooh, they look real good from here. Oh, wait, they're kind of stuck. I knew this would happen. Wow, but they look really, really good. They don't look bad. Mm -mm. We have our cheese sauce right here. Ooh, it's a little still. A little still. This ain't no cheese dip, this is a cheese spread, okay? Gonna have to just take one. There ain't no butter in here though. Like <laughs> Pretzels and butter, I mean, ooh, I, I love a good pretzel and I know this is gonna be it, respectfully. <laughs> okay, just dip it. Oh man. <laughs> Dear Lord. Please bless this food and let it bring nourishment to my body's new praying man. And I'm over here praying over easy bake oven food. <laughs> like, let's also compare it to the box. I truly believe I could have gotten a little closer. Um, it was really that twist part. I don't know how they made the twist with with that. I don't. Some ain't right. Those on these pictures, it's bigger than what it really supposed to be. Just so y'all know, like, they made real actual size pretzels. Like, that's what y'all did. Y'all ain't slick. <laughs> okay. Now wait. Hold on. They don't taste too bad. <laughs> They really don't taste too bad, y'all. That's wild. And it could be the salt. Because if there wasn't any salt, this would be so bland and not tasty. It's that salt. Mm. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. I would say that this has to be the best savory um, dish from Easy Bake. It's time to put in our cookies. And this is gonna be in here for nine minutes. Nine, that is not a long time. I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Alexa, set timer for nine minutes. Nine minutes, starting now. I thought she was gonna say something else. Okay. My apologies for all the um, Alexas going off right now. So, so sorry. <laughs> so, so sorry. I think we have to make 
the icing, well, the frosting. Chocolate mix, here we go. Some water, I'm eyeballing it. I'm eyeballing it. And let's give it a mix. I'm trying to move fast because it's only gonna be in there for nine minutes. Why is it acting funny? Why is this acting? <laughs> it takes a long time for that water to get in that mix. But it got there, okay? Chocolate frosting. Spread the frosting between the two cookies and make a, oh Lord. I think my icing is too liquidy for that. Y'all remember last time we made whoopie pies? Well, I made whoopie pies, y'all were there, okay? Y'all were there. <laughs> y'all saw what happened. What makes me think that it's gonna turn out this way? <laughs> it might, it might not. It might turn out well. We'll find out. Okay, so now the pink sugar cookies with lemon frosting. Ooh, with lemon frosting. That sound pretty good. That sound pretty good. It's that lemon that got my attention. Let's go ahead and make the pink sugar cookie mix ahead of time. Let's, let's get that over with. Alexa, how much time we got left? You have four minutes and 40 seconds left on your nine minute timer. Okay, cool. That's enough time. Ooh, I love the color pink. I used to not like pink. Cause I was like younger, I was in my tomboy days. But now I like pink. It's definitely become one of my favorite colors, but not the favorite, okay? My favorite color is yellow. Ooh. Looks good, okay, okay, okay. If it get out of control, throw some flour on it, you're gonna be just fine. Hopefully we can get it. Oh my goodness. It does suggest to press it down. Just so y'all know. Oh, why is it so messy? What? I can't wait for um, my daughter to do this. And I want her to be better than me. I do. She will be better than me. Okay, Alexa. Thank you. You're so welcome. Your kindness really gives me a charge. You know what? That's, ge weekend. That's getting old. Alexa, i that compliment is getting real old real quick. Now I know she just saying it just to say it. She don't really care. Y'all supposed to be making these robots feel like they're people and they're not. <laughs> they're not, okay? Look how look how messy this is, y'all. I need one more. <laughs> There's no way I would be able to make another one. Like, bruh. Y'all, it's getting late. Late night baking with Trinity. Like, that's what this should be called. Because when it get late, it get real, real funny. <laughs> Let's quickly take this out. Push like this. I'm nervous because these cookies was looking real hurt. Ooh. <laughs> Are they done? hot oh that's hot that's hot that's hot that's hot I'm gonna put them back in for a little this is why you gotta follow directions do better than me <laughs> do better while that's still in there it's time to clean up this is just no I think they're done now. They should be. I mean, it's not like this is like raw egg that we're eating. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be fine. 
<sighs> okay. Let's see it out. Yeah, that's better. Better. You know what? It might have a nice little chew to it. Hey. Because we don't want these overcooked anyway. Now I'm going to pop these in. The sugar cookies are in. Time to make the lemon frosting. Mmm, smells good. But do it taste good? Gonna find out. I'm gonna put a little bit of water. Because at this point, maybe I just need to be patient. Because I've been adding too much water, y'all. I know y'all been peeping it. Just be patient. The Easy Bake Oven is gonna teach you patience, y'all. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been adding too much water. Look at this, y'all. This is a completely... This is completely different. It's thicker than the other one. This is how the frosting should be. When you fall, get back up again. Get back up again. Some of y'all know that song. It was very important to make sure these cookies were all the same size, I just wanna say. But that's okay, that's okay. Add a little bit of that chocolate. Give it a little swirl. And we're just gonna grab another one. We gonna pretend like it's the same size. But it might taste good. Comment below, what y'all think? It might taste good, cause it is very soft. It's still warm. Chocolate is chocolate. Mmm, wow. Mmm. I was excited. I love the texture because it is very soft and the texture is really, really good, but the flavor, I taste the chocolate. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's like a pillow. I don't regret making them thick. Mm -mm. Alexa, how much longer? You have one minute left on your nine minute timer. Counting down, y'all, counting down. Let's get ready, let's get ready. Okay, they're nice and done. Ooh, I like how soft they are. They're just really, really fluffy. That's how it's supposed to be. Ooh, wait, it hasn't cooled yet. It hasn't cooled off. It's not ready. All right, we gotta go for it. Put the top on. Give it a little squish. Now, this actually looked very close to the picture. Look. Mm. Mm. That lemon frosting is good. Makes me want to make a, a lemon pound cake. Oh. Mm. I'm about to try to make the most beautiful cake ever. I will be using the cake mix from this box, but not necessarily following the directions because I did make that one in part one. So if you wanna see that, go check out part one. It did turn out great, which is why I'm using the cake mix because it actually did hit. Already added the water. Velvet, looks like chocolate, but it is red. When it comes down to the Easy Bake Oven, I definitely noticed that the cake mix is like the easiest thing to make. It smells good. Yeah, I think this is definitely my favorite. It's definitely that cake one, for sure. Ooh, I wanna make a squirrel cake. 
Yes, that's what we're doing. We're making a swirl cake. And I want layers, honey. I'll spray them. I wish these were the same size, but maybe we can do like a like a layer a layer cake. Let me, let me just I don't know. I'm gonna go with the flow. Do little specks here. Man, I'm making a mess, and I need all of this. Some pink, and then I'm gonna swirl it. And hopefully, it does what it needs to do. Now I'm gonna just shake them so they can spread. Yeah, that worked perfectly, actually. So let me bring y'all close. When you shake it, this is what happens when you shake it. I'm gonna gently give it a swirl, okay? Gently. It's giving exactly what it's supposed to be giving. All of these are going to be in there for 16 minutes. Now it does suck that I can't put, could I? Can two, can two fit? No, it can't. I'm gonna sit this in here. That way when it's time, I can just push it through. Man. Alexa, set timer for 16 minutes 16 minutes starting now oh why didn't they make a bigger one all right so i'm pushing the other one through oh wait Now it is kind of back there. Oh no. Oh, see, we having some issues because the other one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to push that one back. And okay, we got a little bit of an issue here. Cause uh, the way I, oh, this thing is so thick. This, oh no, my cake is messing up, no. <gasps> It was too thick. No, no, no. Oh gosh, I'm trying to finesse it. It hurts. It hurts my heart. Oh! It was so perfect. Let's get this frosting going. I'm just gonna add a little. Gotta be careful for these. Gotta be careful for the frosting, y'all. to not add that much water so it's not liquidy. Just a touch. Just a teardrop of water for the frosting. This is how, this is how it should be. It's happening again, it's happening again. Okay, ooh, that's hot. That's hot, that's hot. Oh, it still looks so good. Next time, I know what to do. Next time, I know what to do. Give it here. Oh. 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 oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts to see it like this. Can I push it out the other side? It ain't gonna make a difference. Oh. This thing gonna need a little cleanup in the inside. Why it look kind of burnt right here? 
I don't know, man. Let's add on some of this icing. I am actually going to put it on here while it's a little warm because we do need it to spread. We want it to kind of drip down a little bit. Man, this is not coming the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Look how pretty. Here's some pretty sprinkles. Now let's add some decoration. Maybe put something on the side. If it's your birthday, this is for you. Happy birthday. Down the middle. Look at that. It is moist. It is moist. Cheers to a fun night. Thanks for kicking it with me, y'all. Them sprinkles. <laughs> they have a bite. <laughs> it was a lot. Mmm. Mm. But this is good. The red velvet and strawberry cake mix, easy bake. Definitely my favorite. Nothing has topped it yet. Overall, I would say that this was a tasty night. You know, it was good. It was definitely better than the first one. Big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, all you got to do is click subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and let me know below. That's it. Make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful. And I will talk to you on my next video. Oh, and if you want to watch more content, I am doing Vlogmas on my family channel. So I will see y'all there probably today. <laughs>